I think one of the other things is that what makes this show so important to people around all around the world is that they feel the love and they see the hostility and put downs. They see both at the same time. And it's a very powerful thing because here you are having all this love for one another and yet pushing each other away and then coming back together and pushing each other away. So it's a very powerful dynamic. And the humor this is, fa- is really this is fun fast. Too. This is amazing. I've never thought well, of it that I'd way. I'd like to think that we represent the human condition with all of its ups yeah. and downs. Oh my God. You, you and said I think this people, speech earlier before people they came in. may find this uh, realistic approach to life endearing, and they may enjoy watching for that reason. I'm sorry I've hurt you with my... Um, Misinformation. Uh, uh, with my... Uh, 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 he's objectively... Just... He was wrong about where they shot Karate Kid 2. Objectively wrong. Tony. They shot it in Los Angeles. Oh. No, they didn't shoot it in Los Angeles. They oh. shot it in Hawaii. Hold oh, Hawaii. It. Yeah. Okay, Hold but you didn't guys. say Hawaii, did you? I just said Hawaii now. Oh, I see, okay, I've learned. So I've, improved, I've improved myself. I'm sorry. I've improved myself. Conan. I'm open to improvement. Dude, there's certain things Conan. you... Conan. Yes. Stop. Oh. Stop. He's him. apologizing. He... And you're interrupting. Stop. 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 He's apologizing to you. He is trying to repair some injury he caused you. Did you take it in? No, because no. I, I still remembered him being wrong. Okay, it but is back. that more it's important? It's like a train coming at me. Is that more important than him trying to repair the damage he's done? You're right. Yes, you see, my intentions were never evil, just as I know your intentions were never evil when you've committed injury against me in the past. When have I committed injury Well, it's interesting you? that you ask, because we spent the first hour... <laughs> Talking about the ways I've Let's, damaged you by answering questions by... Let him run just a little bit. Okay. Let's hear this. And don't right. st- Go ahead. Now, again, I want to preface this by saying I expect, w- when you're talking about decades of intimate relationships, that there are going to be um, inadvertent um, slights to the other person, okay? Uh, the year was 1999, May 1999, and the world had not seen a new Star Wars movie release in 16 years. And at the time, the Star Wars franchise was pristine. You have to understand. Put yourself back then. And they announced that a new Star Wars film would be coming out in May 1999. And I was a big fan. You know, my brothers were as well. And I decided to pull out all the stops and get tickets to an advanced screening of this movie a week before the public would see this. Now, you may think media screenings are all civilized, but when it comes to Star Wars, people still line up three hours before. So my brother came into New York City on the train. He spent hours. We got there maybe four hours in advance, and we just sat on the sidewalk together waiting for this momentous occasion. And we were one of the first ones in the theater and, and we sat right in the center. We, we judged how many rows were there. We wanted the full surround sound experience. We wanted to get lost in it. And of course, the theater filled up and I was thinking any fool that walks in now is going to be like in the back corner. And I was envisioning the magic of that moment after it says a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away before the John Williams score. Do you guys have in. anywhere to go? Or you, you get- <laughs> I, was in, I was envisioning it bringing me back to my childhood. I wanted to relive what it was like to be an innocent child with my brother, okay? So about two minutes before the movie starts, I hear some commotion behind me. And this guy stumbles in with this like brainy NPR type woman with with him. And they, excuse me, excuse me, some woman is escorting them because they're like elite. And there just happened to have been, I guess someone left or something, two seats right behind me in the center. I I had been there for five hours. This guy stumbles in. He's like tripping. (laughs) He's like tripping over people. So also, he sits I didn't down. Stumble. I wasn't drinking. Yeah. I didn't stumble. No, you had a you kicked people. You know, you were like one of those people <laughs> inadvertently. You know, you tripped over people. So now you're sitting behind me and you start like gabbing to me. And already, <laughs> already, I, I don't want to talk to anybody. I just want to get lost in this moment. Okay. So the lights go down, and the 20th Century Fox logo comes up, and I'm thinking to myself, "This is it." After 16 years, this is it. And that silence comes right after that fanfare before the flourish and music. And this guy 
leans forwards and starts cracking jokes. This guy makes it all about him. He takes me completely out of the moment. He starts <laughs> gabbing in the middle of the movie theater. And and compl- for you just needed that laugh. You had to take that moment, not knowing the history of what I went through, to get that laugh. And, you know, he's sitting there chuckling. And, uh, and forever you've taken that moment away from me.